Hey everybody, it's me, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, welcome. I am new at this too, so thank you for joining and my video, and I hope you stick around to watch the rest of it. Um, so, in today's video, as you can kind of tell by the title and like the thumbnail, I'm going to talk about college. <laughs> for incoming freshmen that I wish I would have known before going in. If you are interested in hearing what I gotta say, feel free to stay. I would really enjoy your company. But yeah. So, just a little background info. Today is May 10th, Friday, and it is my last day of classes of my freshman year. So, starting the 13th through the 17th, which is next week, I'll have finals. But I only have three, so like, thank God. I just gotta survive the first two <laughs> but you no know, in this video I'm just kind of show you tell you a little bit about like my year and my semester and a little bit of everything just kind of what I've done and have changed and if you are interested to know what I have to say about like incoming freshmen like giving you some tips please continue watching and I will see you all back in one second all right, and we are back. And I'm going to just apologize, like I'll try and keep my head down so the light doesn't hit and reflect off my glasses because that's the most annoying thing, but I forgot to order contacts, so woot. All right, um, so as the introduction said, this is tips for college or whatever. And I just kind of wanted to start off with my year like reviewing my year. okay those are gonna come off until i have to read we're just gonna jump right into it um just one disclaimer i will have to put my glasses back on to read my notes for this video because i'm blind and i don't really want to do this so i just wanted a little give you all kind of a review of my year and kind of what's happened so today is the last day of classes i will have three finals next week i have a calc one, that one's I'm nervous about, metallurgery, so it's um, metallurgy for engineers, that's the title of the class, and then, which is basically, it's about material, you're learning about materials and like how you should, the selection process, whatever, um, and then I'll have a microeconomics final, and if you know me, I hate economics, so that one's not going to go too well because it's like politics to me, and yeah class load this semester I think I had 14 credit hours which is one more than last semester um so that's exciting let's see I guess I'll just start from the beginning so I moved in here August 12th into this dorm and I've stayed in this dorm all year long um and then let's see what else so freshmen had to move in a week early so I had orientation week and we had like this group project design project that we had to do and got broken up into group teams my team number 15 i think we were 15 i don't remember what number was. the dream team that was a lot of fun i met a lot of guys but i was like the one that designed our team flag and the logo which was kind of cool and so throughout this week you get a little um remote control car and you it's pretty much stripped of everything except for the motor and the battery and you have to design it um, to like complete challenges so like you needed to make sure you could clip it to a zip line and throw it down a zip line um, be able to drive it whatever and then the another part of the challenge was we had to be able to sell our car and we sold it to this professor that was new and he was from Germany so we like made it completely German theme and if I have a picture of the car I will put it on screen right now probably maybe here but it took us a week and then we competed and it was honestly a lot of fun we definitely weren't the fastest and we definitely lost the race but that's okay and then at the end of orientation week I will admit it I went through sorority recruitment and you know I was just I wanted to go through the recruitment process just to kind of get familiarized see what it is about and so we only have three sororities at s &T, so it was only a three day long process. So like the first day, casual, got to go to all the houses, talk with the girls a little bit. Second day, house tours. 
they gave you house tours and maybe talked about the philanthropy. I think the first day was philanthropy. No. I'm trying to think, like, really, really hard. I don't remember, like, the order. I know, like, philanthropy day, and then we had the house tours, and I know that was Saturday because I went toward all three houses. The third day was very formal. Um, you have to dress really nice, and I only got invited back to two houses. And so I went to them, and we talked just a little bit more, gave a little more information and whatnot, asked questions. And then, so Monday of classes, after the end of the day, we had bidding, where you got your bid card and you could either accept it or decline it. I accepted um, the bid for Kappa Delta, and let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with my sorority. I did drop at semester, and there I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the sorority. I loved the philanthropy. Like, there's a reason I joined it. I couldn't afford it. Now, I am paying for school myself. I have been doing it all year. Um, I've very rarely had help from my family. I have been paying for school myself. I'm part of the work study program, and I got a new job down here along with whatever I make at home. Like, I didn't bring my car for the first semester to make sure I saved a little bit money and was able to pay through it, and then I went ahead and got a car so that way I could have one so I can come home or whatnot. But I just can't afford almost $5,000 on top of the $10,000 I have to pay for housing already. But I enjoyed it. I did. I went through the whole process of initiation and everything and it was a lot of fun. Um, I have also joined the trap and ski team down here and it's a lot of fun. Probably a lot of you won't know what it is when I just say it like that, but I don't really know how to explain it either. Basically, I'm shooting shotguns for a sport is what it is. Other than that, I just focus on study and studies and I go home as I, I try to go home at least once a month and yeah it's a little weird which I'll talk about this in my tips but this is not like high school at all I will tell that right now it's gonna seem like it but it really isn't which getting into today's topic I want to give you some tips so this is where I have to grab my, my glasses back on again um, I just wanted to give a couple of like four categories of tips so I'll have organization um, what to bring kind of what you shouldn't really bring to school like okay I have more of like what you should bring like people are, you're not gonna think about it school obviously school related things and then like an other category because I didn't really know like where to put these so but the number one thing keep your dorm room clean like seriously you are living in a very small space that you have to share. So when there's clutter all over the floor, it's going to make you feel claustrophobic. I know it made me and my roommate feel claustrophobic. And that's another thing. My roommate moved out a semester. So my second semester has just been me in my room by myself, which I still have to keep it clean because it still gets really cluttered really easily because, like I said, it is such a small space for one person, let alone two people living at it together. So keep it clean. And if you're a roommate or you are not very, not a big clean freaks, you're gonna have to learn real fast. <laughs> All right. Also, wash your bedding at least once a month. Like seriously, your mom's not gonna be here anymore to wash your bedding for you. And I don't know about y'all, but I love clean sleeping in clean sheets, like right when they're washed, like just the feeling it feels really nice. And just think about it. you're sweating, you're gross, dead skin's getting all over those, and if you don't wash them for nine months, that's kind of disgusting. So just do it once a month. All you gotta do is take your bedding off, take it down to the laundry room, wash it, dry it, put it all back together. Another organization thing, use a planner. It does not matter what you use, if you use a paper planner, if you use Google calendars, if you use the calendar on your phone, if you use like your notes thing and just put dates out, you need a planner. And when you get your syllabus, write down all of your test dates, all of like this. Most of the time, your homework assignment due dates will be on there too. Write them down. Like there is no joke. Like this was even me last year. If I didn't write it down, I wasn't gonna remember it. This tip that I wanna get into is like what to bring versus kinda what not to bring. But most of my things on here are like what you should bring, so. So, 
first thing, you're gonna want a mattress pad and a mattress protector because like these beds are not comfortable at all. You gotta realize how many people have slept on these mattresses before you, it's kind of gross. So just put a mattress pad cover over it, put your sheets and your blankets on it, then you feel fine, it doesn't feel gross, and it kind of like protects the bed itself also. You do not need a lot of decoration. Pinterest boardy don't like decorations. As much as you want your room to look like a Pinterest, like it just came out of Pinterest, trust me, it doesn't. Like I said with the whole organization thing, keeping the room clean, you don't want it to be over cluttered and overcrowded. It's just gonna make your space even smaller. Another thing, so I'm someone that loves school supplies. You don't really need a lot of it. Like, you just need your bare minimum. Um, but one thing I will say, a laptop or a desktop if you prefer those are kind of needed um, every single day for school related things so extension cords big one you only have like I think I have three outlets in my room so of course you're gonna need extension cords all right shower shoes oh if you live in a community dorm with community bathrooms please 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 get shower shoes like it is like the whole bed protector thing so many people use those showers and the last thing you need to get you're on your own is foot fungus or some disease with your feet like just just get shower shoes cheap flip-flops from the Dollar Tree whatever shower shoes are a must and then lastly rain gear so my mom got me rain boots and I have a yellow rain jacket but like it has saved me because there are days where I've been drenched because I live in Missouri and if you don't know how the weather is well we get all four seasons in a day sometimes all right and then moving on to the next topic so the next topic is just like school in general so the first thing go to class I know it's tempting you don't have your mom telling you get up Timmy you gotta get up for school like bus is about to leave go 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 like you don't have to go to school at 8 o'clock in the morning anymore like I don't have a class until 10 and that's only Monday Wednesday Friday otherwise Tuesdays and Thursdays I don't have a class till 2 o'clock and as much as I'd like to binge watch it you need to go to class trust me same with your 8 a.m.s do not oversleep go ahead and get up you can go to your class it's okay to have a ditch day here and there I will admit I have done it Another thing is, don't cram for your test. Try and give it more than three days before your test to start studying. Like the day, the night before your test should be to review. Like you should be looking through this and being confident like, oh, I know all of this. Like you should not be learning a new concept the day before the test. So give yourself, a, I like to give myself a week like mentally, like I'll start looking over the notes, I'll do a practice test. Um, I rewrite all my notes in chronological order and color coded on note cards and I split them up so then it seems like less information that I have to take in and absorb if that makes sense. So another thing is join clubs, try something new. Like I said, I joined the trap and skeet team, went out of my comfort zone and I joined a sorority. Okay, okay. Also, with that being said, get out of your room. like. After my, my roommate moved out, I've just kind of stayed in my room a lot, which is not very good on the mental state either. Um, so it's really good to get out and do something, and that's like what the clubs do. Okay, so another important thing, textbooks. Wait till after the first day of class, like the first day of your classes, because your professor will tell you if you're going to use a textbook or not. And 95% of the time, you won't use the textbook. And it's going to save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Trust me. So just wait. Finally, the last category, my other category. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I'll just put it over this. Um, my last category is other because I don't really know like where these would like fall. This is not high school. It's going to be 10 times harder. My calc class... I'm I used to be brilliant at math as I like to thought think like math was so easy for me in high school now I just got a 59 on my exam 
from Tuesday. Ooh. You have to study, you have to put the work in to be able to succeed. So another thing is it's okay to change. You're not gonna be the same person as you were with high school. Like I definitely know that I am not. High school, high school you kind of start learning the ropes. But college is where you're really gonna find yourself. You're really going to know who you are, what you like and what you don't like, and what you want out of life. Like so many times this year, I've questioned if I wanna be an engineer or not. It is okay to not be the same person that you were in high school. All right, and then the last thing that I want to say, call your mom. Seriously, I call my mom like every other day or I FaceTime my mom every other day. And I'll be honest, I didn't do that at the start of the year because I was like, I'm independent. I can do all of this myself, blah, blah, blah. I don't need my mom. I need my mom because first month of school, my clothes got bleached. I washed my clothes in the community laundry room and they got bleached and I didn't know what to do. Called my mom. But you seriously need to call your mom. Especially, like, for me, I'm the oldest, so I'm the first one that left for school, and I know this is ten times harder on my mom, and I know my comments, like, I'm an adult, I can do this myself, blah, 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 aren't easy for her either, and I feel really sorry. Sorry, mom, love you, I really do, but there are points where you do need to be like, this is my point where I need this, <sighs> this is the point where you do have to say, mom, I'm growing up. This is where you have to start backing off. And it is okay to say that. It's okay to be, like, I want to be in, more independent. Like, I want to do this. And that's what I did. Hence why I pay for school myself. Ah. Another thing is, so you're going to get homesick so much. And I get homesick almost every other day. And that's why I FaceTime my mom. And I tell her about my day. And we talk and whatnot. Call your mom. Get rain, rain gear. Have shower shoes. Get, keep your dorm clean have a mattress protector, like, get out and do stuff, try new things, and you should be all good to go for college. It's gonna completely not be what you expect, and you might fall on your face quite a few times. I know I definitely have, but it's gonna be something that you're gonna enjoy. Like, this next step in your life is gonna be good for you. Trust me. And you might want to quit. Don't. It's just four, ye four more years of schooling, and I promise you will get through it. It is going to fly by. I know my freshman year did. I'm shocked that this year is not what I expected it to go at all. So thank you for watching, and if you stayed with me this long like crazy, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you liked what I had said or the tips and whatnot, give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment below other tips for freshmen. Like, if you're in college, comment Tim staff for upcoming freshmen because, like, I had no idea what I was doing, and let alone, I know they're not going to know what's going on when they come in. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.